Okay, everybody, back again. Yeah, let me see. If, yeah, it's working a little bit, not too much. It's very cloudy here, so this is another. This is done with the GPS. Okay, so what uh, what we do in here? It's let me see if I can get better signal. Okay, so it doesn't seem to get a better signal at the moment because, yeah, a little bit is still probably updating. Okay, so this is another satellite. It's uh, called the NOAA 19 tracker, which uh, NOAA 19 replaced NOAA 18, and um, it's a weather <clears throat> satellite. So it's giving me the latitude and the longitude. Uh, the distance is very close to me. It's 329.3 kilometers. Okay, so I'm trying to see if I can get more update on this. We're just a bit slow at the moment as we are over of a cloud. Yeah. Okay, in any case, um, let's hope it's updating. It should update because it has already started a much higher number. <clears throat> okay. I think it's it's a short orbit. It's not a, it's not a geostationary. I think. In any case, here's the here's the code. You need a lot of uh, you need a lot of uh, what do you call it um, library here. You need a wire, other fruit. Uh, this is other fruit, obviously. For initialize the LED, this is a software serial for the GPS. This is a tiny GPS. This is the ESP8266 Wi Fi <coughs> initialization, Wi Fi client secure for the website, the web AP uh, keys, and the ESPHT client. Arduino JSON, obviously, to trans, 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 transform, tran, translate it into a readable, a readable header uh, from the HTML. And uh, well, this is my file secret, uh, which has got my codes, my password and username for my. Okay, so this one is double quoted, as you know, because I'm not using this one. So, but if you want to use it, you double quote it, you unquote it. Sorry. This is the key which I'm going to take off because it's on my key, and this is the the satellite ID, okay, uh, the NOAA, and the rest is uh, you know initialization of your um, OLED if you have OLED or you can use the other one, and so on. All right, and this is your the. Uh, the site, the Uru, which has to, to be put under, uh, present, presented with a string. Okay, so let's have a look again. Yes, that's a, yeah. <clears throat> it the update, I have to set, I haven't set the update time, but I can, can put it faster or slower. I mean, it depends how you want it. You can set it up yourself. It's not a problem, but you can see how it's, uh, it's updating. The, the, the only problem is it's very cloudy here, so you know it's not. Uh, let me see. Get a close up. There we are. It's called NOAA 19, and this is you know it's been tracked. The latitude at the moment. Everything on the southern hemisphere has got a minus because it's it's a it has an opposite without a minus. It's on the northern hemisphere. That's the latitude. The longitude is straightforward all the way down and move east to west. 
So the longitude is not a problem. It can be just one number. It doesn't need to be minus or plus. The distance at the moment is 1,749 kilometers from my location. So you can set up your location and it, it will find your, it will produce the distance when you fly over you and so on. Okay. You can see that uh, the LED on the GPS it doesn't um, flash much at the moment because it's, it's over, overcast and um, I'm using a I'm using something like this because it's on the window sill it's like a wire it was working just now but yeah so we'll just wait any case we're nearly finished see now it's updating again yeah so when uh, when your l um, when you, you when your um gps is working you will see a flashlight here okay when this one work then automatically it should update your your information on your screen if it doesn't, then there are some other problems. Remember that the um, <clears throat> Rx is supposed to go to, to 3, and the Tx is supposed to go to 4. Okay, but when you, you on the, on your coding, it's the same here. Okay, the, on your coding it says uh, Rx is D3 and Dx is D4. And this looks correct here. The yellow one, it's the Rx and the black one is T, Tx. But I put them in a different way. you got to swap them. So what you do... The soft, this, because this does, you, you cannot use Rx on, on the, on the, on the, on the microchip. The Rx and Tx, if you connect this to Rx and Tx, you're going to have a conflict with USB. So you have to have a software, um, a software, um, yeah, that's why you have to have this, um, let me show you. You have to have, <clears throat> let me see, software serial. Okay, so now the software serial producing exactly the D3 and D4. But when you get, and it will be placed into D3, which is Rx and, and D4, then what you do, you swap the two. Yeah. You put the D3 in D4 and D4 in D3 so that the Tx. The black one is on D3 and the Rx, which is, it's on the, on the, the Rx, which is supposed to be on D3, goes on, D, on D4. So you practically put everything as it should be so you don't get confused and then you, um, you swap them. Then what you do, you can do this one here. Now I'm going to show you. Uh, I will always add uh, a file called um, GPS test. This is very important because a lot of people get confused with this. Okay, so now... Okay, so we have a GPS tester here. Can you see? So now the static pins is D3, the Rx is D3, and the Tx is D4. So I'm going to, 
and it's 71 it's the correct okay I'm going to um, I'm going to run it <clears throat> let's hope it doesn't freeze I just want to show you that what you can do, this will sort of tell you that um, that your pins are correct because otherwise you, you know you sometimes you sit there and you wait and nothing happens and then okay let's do the indexing first because it's indexes sometimes if it's not it's not uh, completed uh, <clears throat> the Vimus might freeze. No, I can't wait. Let's take a chance and see what happens. So you should see a lot of garbage coming out on the serial monitor. And there we are. So you know that now it's working. That's mean actually that it's it's communicating with the system. All right. So this is a way you test it. And this is called, I, I made this file. So it, it, to test your, can you, but you can also this the idea of this is to put it before you do you do the the all you know the before you start with your program here let me just re update the tracker here okay so you got to do this you, before you go online with your gps and you and you test before you test this, this program, you gotta have, you gotta test your GPS pins are correct, because if there is no, um, you get, you get a lot of garbage information that come from the satellite, from the GPS, and that GPS means that it's working. The pins are correct. If you see a blank uh, serial monitor, it means that they, your your pins are, are not correct, correct, are not connected correctly. Okay, so that's very important. Because otherwise you waste a lot of time, you know, trying to do things that are not. Okay, with uh, my super uh, piece of wire on the uh, on the window sill seems to work. Not constantly, see, fresh light is on and off, but yeah. Okay, so it's very important. But what I'll do, I will add the tester as well. And before you, when you put everything together, test your pins on the GPS always and swap them at the end. <clears throat> and then you test them if they work. If you don't swap them, you'll have a blank serial monitor with no, uh, no uh, GPS, um, uh, what do you call it, uh, hogwash. Okay, guys, thank you very much. Have a good day. Ciao.